we estimate that there's at least 40,000 less kids with peanut allergy today than there would have been, you know, so that's a monumental thing uh, in public health. Around the turn of the century, we were realizing that if the immune system encountered a food allergen via the gut for the first time, that it was far less likely to recognize that food allergen as foreign and less likely to develop an allergy. This led to a landmark study. It was a large real world study of 120,000 kids under three, which formally tested whether or not early introduction of peanut would reduce the risk of developing peanut allergy. And sure enough, it did. Almost a 70% reduction, which is incredible. It's not anywhere close to 100%, right? So we can do better. Getting the word out hopefully will help to drive food allergy rates down even further. Essentially, we're recommending early introduction of uh, the major allergens, so milk, egg, soy, wheat, peanut, and tree nut, um, somewhere between four to six months of age and uh, once developmentally appropriate. So what that means is once the child is ready for solid foods, we don't want to start giving solid foods before the, the child has sort of the swallowing mechanism to handle that. But for most kids, that that develops between four to six months of age. And, you know, that's the time that we want to start introducing these common allergens.